remember that one time Brandon did the most successful Kickstarter ever? The Year of Sanderson hit $7.5 million in the first six hours, eventually reaching over $40 million by the end. This campaign hit $7.5 million in the first hour and a half. At the six hour mark, it was well over $11 million. The original Way of Kings Leatherbound Kickstarter finished at 6,788,000, which, again, this one beat in an hour. And for most of that hour, the website was down. The main draw, or at least the initial headlining reason to back it, is the gorgeous new Leatherbound editions of Words of Radiance, with brand new art, brilliant foiling, and stunning interior design. But then, Brandon dropped this. Another secret project, set in the far future of the Cosmere, with high Cosmere connectivity? You're just writing these for me. They're just, they're just all for me. So, do you have several hundred dollars that you want to spend on some sweet, sweet Sander swag? Or maybe you're just interested in Brandon's super secret project? Let's take a look at your options. First off, everyone is going to be getting Dragonsteel Prime in ebook and audiobook for free. That's what Brandon is doing with all of his Sanderson curiosities, so if you've ever been inclined to sneak into the special collections at BYU and read his master's thesis, now you don't have to. I have read it, but with this release I'll finally be able to TALK about it! Dragonsteel review video coming soon. The lowest tiers are for those only interested in the new secret project. For $10, you can get the ebook, $20 also gets you the audiobook, and for $50, you get the ebook, no audiobook, hardcover, and swag box, which will come with a bookmark, sticker, and pin, similar to the secret project boxes from last year. Dragonsteel, are you just doing this because you had a bunch of extra Year of Sanderson boxes that you needed to put stuff in? Bumping up to $250, there's an option to just get the Words of Radiance Leatherbound. However, for the exact same price, albeit probably an increase in shipping, you can get the leather bounds plus a radiant order pack of your choice and the backer pack. Backer pack. Though they did have backpacks as part of the VIP swag in Dragonsteel 2022. Each of the 10 radiant order packs come with an enamel pin of the appropriate spren, a challenge coin featuring the same spren, looks like in a more realistic style than the chibi pins. Steve, did you work on these? A set of charms unique to each order, stickers, and a pennant to display your loyalty. Yay, Will Shapers! The backer kit will include the expected epic bookmark, as well as another deck of cards, friend themed this time. King, Queen, Jack, Stormfather, Sibling, Night Watcher? I mean, there's 10 orders. There's 10... Oh, man. <laughs> Stormlight Coasters. These ones? Probably new ones. A character coin, and the only thing that probably won't be available after this campaign, the exclusive Dragonsteel Prime pin. Again, everything else, the books, the Radiant Order stuff, the plushies, everything, will probably be available for purchase either from the Dragonsteel website after the campaign is over, or when you come to Dragonsteel in December. If shipping is too much, and you're planning on being here at the end of the year, you won't really miss out by waiting. Jumping up to $375, that also gets you Dragonsteel Prime in hardcover, and the Secret Project stuff, minus the audiobook. Then the highest tier, for $650, you'll get all of the books. Words of Radiance, Dragonsteel Prime, and the new Secret Project. All the digital rewards, ebooks and audiobooks of Dragonsteel Prime and Secret Project. And all of the order packs. There's also a signed and numbered version of the top tier, but that sold out pretty quick. Yes! Numbered versions will not correlate with when you pledged, so even if you're backer number 9428, if you picked one of the 4900 numbered tiers, you'll have assigned a numbered edition randomly assigned and sent to you. They said no stretch goals, but they're already giving out more little nuggets. If you go to the first update, there's an STL file to 3D print an I am a stick display, a la Nightblood. We'll see what other goodies arise before the end. Quick note, the Radiant Spren plushies are not part of the Radiant Order packs. If you want an emotional support Stormfather to snuggle with, you'll need to be sure to pick him up separately in the add-on section. You should still be able to edit your pledge until the end of the campaign, so hop on that if you want to squish Spren. They're $40 each, or you can get all 10 for $400. I was tempted, but that would have been over $1,000 and I'm not making nearly that much money doing this. 
many of the tiers also don't include the audiobook of The Secret Project. That's available as an add-on as well, for $15. Amazingly, the audiobook will be released on Audible, as well as downloadable formats. Brandon called him on it, and they blinked. There's also a foldable coin display and a Stormlight Archive license plate frame that are not part of any existing pack. If you want those, add on, $15 each. Individual Radiant Order packs are there for $50. Extra backer packs are $50 as well. All 10 for $500. Plus, full sets of each item in those packs are available. $125 for pin, coin, charm, and banner sets, with a full set of stickers being $80. So, if you get everything. You go for the highest tier, that's 650, plus all 10 plushies, 400, plus the signed Way of Kings at 250, the second edition of Way of Kings Prime at 35, plus the coin display and license plate frame at $15 each, you'll top out at $1,365 plus shipping. Brandon said these campaigns are the main way he supports his company, so you know it's going to a good cause, I suppose. And it's all, it's all really cool. If you don't get any add-ons, all your stuff will be sent in two shipments, one this year and one the next. Beginning this fall, all Leatherbounds, Dragonsteel Prime, and Radiant Order sets will begin being sent out. After those are done, add-ons will go out, which will naturally include all of the plushies. Then sometime after May next year, the new secret projects will be shipped. Dragonsteel is doing their best at getting shipping prices as low as they can, but it's still gonna be spendy for folks outside the US. If you're coming to Dragonsteel this year, maybe wait on buying stuff, and instead just bring an extra suitcase. Though they are able to offer four monthly payments starting in April, rather than one lump sum up front. I'm taking advantage of that option, as $150 a month is a lot easier on the budget than $650 all at once. But if you take that option, be sure you can do it, as they won't be able to provide any refunds for partial payments. It ain't quite the year of Sanderson, but so far 2024 is shaping up to be pretty awesome. Still don't really know if 631 is pointing to anything else. The other secret projects were all between 4 and 500 pages. This new secret project gonna be over 600? I'd love to hear your theories and generally talk Cosmere. So next week, instead of the usual video release, I'll be going live on YouTube Friday, March 15th at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. I'll be filling Mistborn Metal Vials with actual samples of the Allomantic Metals, including the modern metals. I was only able to get these because of the help of my patrons. Thank you so much specifically to Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, and Dalinar's butt. Again, March 15th at 1 p.m. Mountain. Come chat and hang out. Ah, uh, I'm not in the right shirt. Uh, the end.